Studies show one in four students ages 12 to 18 say they've been bullied in school. Now our partners at Colorado Parent Magazine want to help you be better prepared to talk to your children about this topic. Joining us now, Dr. Natalie Abramson, author of the magazine's cover story and a pediatric psychologist at the Children's Hospital in Colorado. Thanks for joining us. Now this is, continues to be a really big issue. Absolutely, and I think you know there are some warning signs as parents that we can look for. Definitely the mild reluctance to go back to school, maybe some reluctance in periods of academic stress would be typical and expected, but if you see prolonged, persistent avoidance or even refusal to go to school, that would be something to think through and talk about. And a lot of times kids aren't very open about what's going on, so do, how do parents kind of initiate that conversation? I think there are a few things that you can do to talk about it and also to prevent it. Certainly having very open communication with your children, making sure they know they always have the floor should they need to talk to you about something, whether they think it's insignificant or significant, making sure they know they can come to you and run anything by you would be important. And what are some of the signs that parents and teachers should look for in students? I would say, you know, again, that idea of not really wanting to engage in school, um, maybe some sadness, some withdrawn behavior would always be something, if it's out of character, to really look more into. Okay, and if you're a parent and you've talked to your child and you have, uh, you know, found out they are being bullied, how can they prevent it, especially with, you know, the internet these days? Uh, what can you do as a parent to prevent these right. things? I think it's very important to have a network of adults in the know. So be familiar with the parents of the children in your child's peer group so that the adults can kind of keep tabs on how that's going. I'd also set very clear expectations with your children on how they're supposed to be treated by others and how mm -hmm. they're supposed to treat others so that they know if things sort of cross that line. And I would also probably suggest that you're a familiar face at school mm -hmm. so that you as the parent might be more likely to know soon um, if there's some type of trouble that's starting to uh, boil over. And when it comes specifically to cyberbullying with Facebook, um, mm -hmm. what would you recommend for parents and for students to prevent that from happening? I would say that you want to really keep very close tabs on how your, your children are doing in social media. Um, you make sure to insist that in order to be on social media, your children friend you so that you can keep tabs on how their social world is going online and um, watch uh, for anything that seems to be out of line and really monitor that carefully. All right. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank we were you. glad to have you have some very good tips. And you can find more information on this topic in the August issue of Colorado Parent Magazine. We put a link on our website, thedenverchannel.com. You can click on the red TV button.